overall, you know, I thought, thought we did pretty well. Um, the conditions were so tough yesterday. I thought, I thought yesterday we, we played really well. We fought as hard as we could and then just kind of hit the wall with about eight or nine holes left. And if you look back at it, that's really the, the, the deciding factor of the tournament. It's just conditions like that and such a grind. And when you're out there for 36 holes, um, you know, that, that sort of stuff will happen. But I'm proud of the way they bounced back. We had the low round of the day. We made a run at it today. We just, we didn't close very well. We, we didn't handle the tough holes. Um, but, you know, we made a run at it. And, you know, third place finish is, is pretty solid. But we got some room for improvement, that's for sure. Um, we're right on the bubble for postseason. And, you know, this this is our home tournament. And we want to defend our home turf. And, you know, this, this round will, will, you know, tell us a lot about what our future is. And, they responded, you know, kind of challenged them last night to come out and play hard. And um, I knew we were, we were a long way back, but on this golf course in these conditions, anything can happen. If we can put up a good number, then we, we'll have a shot. And, and like I said, we were six under through 12 holes. <clears throat> Had the lead there for a while, but unfortunately we couldn't close it. But, you know, we'll learn from it and we'll get better. Well, Grant Milner, I mean, the 67 today in the last round, and, you know, that was clutch. Um, very solid. Will Pearson played extremely solid again for the second straight tournament, you know, two straight top ten. Um, you know, all the guys fought really hard. Corey Gaylord, you know, 72 today. Thomas Pearl fights for every shot. You know, those four guys did a great job.